One of the most famous battles in the War of 1812 was the Battle of Queenston Heights. It was a great victory of the British and Canadian forces against the American army. The battle took place on October 13, 1812. Isaac Brock was the British general of this stunning victory, but was killed during battle. The Battle of Queenston Heights took, took place in what is now Ontario. The battle was fought between United States regulars and the New York militia and the British, Canadian and Mohawk warriors. The Americans were trying to take over the Canadian side of the Niagara River. The United States invasion across the Niagara River at first was intended to be a part of a four-pronged attack on Upper Canada's border. Strong points. These attacks were expected to bring the colony to its knees and ensure a quick peace. However, the four attacks on Upper Canada failed or were not even launched. The American forces involved were 6th, 13th, and the 23rd U.S. regiments on infantry. With detachments serving infantry, in total, there were 900 regulars and 2,650 militia. The Americans had 12 boats that could carry 30 men, each two boats that could carry 80 men. The Americans began to crossing the river in 13 boats at 4 a.m on October 13th. When they landed, they were separated by the current that gave Britain the upper hand in the fighting. Many of the American boats were sunk. American Commando Co Colonel Solomon Van Reselar was killed after being struck by six musket balls. In Lewiston, New York, the American artillery bat batteries began to bombard British troops in Queenston the signal that was coming from the main American in invasion force. Major General Brock could hear the sounds of the battle and instantly realized that Queenston was under attack. Upon approaching Queenston, Isaac Brock saw a number of Americans being readied at Lewiston to join the invasion force. Brock sent an immediate message to British forces at Fort George and at Chippewa to send reinforcements. Isaac Brock knew the British were badly outnumbered, but also knew the vital strategic military importance of the controlling that high ground at Queenston Heights. The American infantry, led by Captain John Wood, were able to sneak up the escarpment near the top of Queenston Heights. Brock ordered his troops to retreat into the village to regroup. Brock wanted to retake the high grounds of Queenston Heights before reinforcements arrived. Brock counted with 200 men at his service. During the charge in an attempt to retake the Redan battle at Queenston Heights, Major Isaac Brock was shot by an American marksman. As the British soldiers were about to retreat, two companies of British militia from New York arrived at aid de camp. Americans now controlled Queenston Heights and overrun the village below forcing the British to retreat again. Victory at the Battle of Queenston Heights was clearly won by the Americans. The New York State militias were watching the battle from the American shore. They watched the death and destruction firsthand. They also saw the results as the dead and injured Americans arrived on the other side of the river. When it was time for the American regulars to join the fight, they refused to go. Without the New York militia, the regular American troops had no reinforcements to help them fortify their newly won ground. British Major General Roger Chevet replaced Major General Brock. General Chevet waited for reinforcements before attempting a counterattack against the Americans. When the British did mount their attack, they were able to outflank the Americans. The Native Americans allied with Britain began firing at the Americans as well. Being outflanked without reinforcements, American Commander Winfield Scott surrendered to the British. This brought an end to the first of many battles. As a result, American General von Rensselaer reassigned his command and replaced by 
Brigadier General Alexander Smith. Smith was determined to punish the British for their victories at Queenston Heights. 